Some said it couldn't be done. Take an expansion CPA franchise and make it a success. The very first year. Not only a sports success, but a business success as well. And most of all, a success in the hearts of the fans. And the title of this success story, Quad City Thunder. The Quad City Thunder. Quad City Thunder! The Quad City Thunder. Um, I'm not prejudiced, I just happen to love them. Dear Quad City Thunder, my name is Ricky, and I'm 11. I'm just another Quad City kid. I wanted to write to thank you for bringing the basketball team and all the fun to the Quad Cities this year, and to let you know I can hardly wait for next year. Actually, my dad is the one who suggested I write this. You see, our family goes together to the Thunder Games, even my little sister. She doesn't know how to play basketball. She likes all the fun stuff you have going on all the time, especially Crazy George. My dad hears a lot about people's job problems and stuff, and we've had some sickness in the family. He's just real happy that the Thunder has given the Quad City something all of us can cheer about. He says it's amazing how great everything is, considering this is your first year and all. He says he doesn't know how you pulled it off. Dear Ricky, thank you for writing your kind words about the thunder. Your dad is right. Getting the ball rolling in the right direction this first year was no small trick. It costs a very great deal to get a team started. That was one thing. We had to get special permission to play in Wharton Fieldhouse. You see, the court is about 10 feet short of regulation length in the CBA. In fact, Charlie Rosen, the coach of the Rockford Lightning team, called it a phone booth. And, of course, it's hard to win ball games when you're working with players who haven't played together before. We started off 0-6. But those and other problems didn't stop us, because we had plenty of good things going for us. For instance, we have a gutsy lady owner in Ann Potter DeLong. She and the Quad City business community really gave us all the support any team could ask for. But I know who the best owner is right here, Ann DeLong. The Quad City Thunder is the best team in the CBA. The greatest show in sports right here, bar none. Hold your finger up. Hold his pen. She's in every game. What other owner comes to every game? Well, Eagle Foods has been part of the Quad Cities for over 80 years, and the Thunder is part of the Quad Cities, so we're proud to be part of it. We also have an excellent coach. Twice, Mauro Panaggio has been CBA Coach of the Year. He really knows how to build a team in a hurry. He matched local favorites like Iowa's Kevin Gamble and the Quad Cities' own Brent Carmichael with other outstanding players like Steve Woodside, Anthony Bowie, Greg Jones, and Ray Hall. We finished with 30 wins, the fourth best record in the 12-team league, and took our playoff series to seven games. That's downright amazing. A good coach makes all the difference. Mauro Panaggio, congratulations, 200 career victories. You know that? I didn't know that, Bob. Surprising, quite a number. You guys were passing that ball around like it was on a string today. Well, that's the way we like to play the game. Uh, early on, you know, I thought we were going to be buried because we weren't passing the ball. Uh, I put in a smaller lineup, they started moving the ball around, and the uh, game becomes easy then. We turned other problems around, too. The close quarters of the fieldhouse let the home fans have real impact on the game. And remember the Rockford coach's comment about the phone booth? We brought a real phone booth onto the floor, and the fans had toy phones to give Coach Rosen harassing calls. We really had fun with that. I guess my family goes to Thunder Games because of all the things you have going on. Like all the weird animals. The San Diego chicken. Dancing berry. The Phoenix Suns gorilla. Spuds. And the San Antonio Spurs coyote. My little sister likes to watch the cheerleaders. 
My dad does, too. Actually, Ricky, all the top-notch entertainment we've been able to bring in is vital. Our strategy is to give people lots of reasons to come to the game. We call that marketing. Your friend, Crazy George Shower, visits schools within a 50-mile radius to interest kids. He does some really wild things. We believe the visiting sports celebrities provided a good reason for die-hard sports fans to come. And we brought in entertainment to give something to absolutely everybody. Another big draw was the chance to shoot baskets for money, like the Quad City Times $10,000 half-court shot. The CBA ton of money giveaway. And the Ward Chevrolet car giveaway. In fact, the fan participation was so great that one young man even proposed marriage to his girlfriend at midcourt. received a lot of support from our local news media and national television coverage on ESPN. ...that this is as good as it gets. They played sensationally. You have to be impressed by Quad City's play, but you also have to be impressed by the atmosphere in this building. If you like basketball, you like to enjoy yourself, you have to see this. This is tremendous. So you put it all together. The game, the entertainment, the sheer excitement of it all. And it's like they say about our big brother, the NBA. It's fantastic. The Thunder set CBA records in breaking the 100,000 attendance mark. God, we're having a great time tonight. They're winning. We're cheering. We're having a blast. I just can't get over this. The gentleman just won the car. I've never had so much fun in my life. Well, I better end this letter. Please take care of everybody until next season. The team, the cheerleaders, the animals, and crazy George. Keep up the good work. See you next year. Love, Ricky. Next year, the Quad City Thunder. Be there. It's gonna be jamming. Trails the quarter by three. Right, Lightning now has the game one. They are playing for the quarter. Hunter penetrates left side. An offensive foul on Cedric Hunter. He knocks down Brent Carmichael. Third foul on Hunter. Carmichael with nine steals here this afternoon. That ties his own league high. He's also got 27 points and nine assists. High left. Side, right wing, Cofield, the shot, no, rebound, low left, Farrell gets the ball out to Hunter. Hunter dribbling down, feeds it left side, he overled around Kellogg, out of bounds, it goes back to the Lightning. 28 seconds left to play here. Rockford has the game one, they lead at 115 to 104, but Rockford trails the quarter by three. They need a bucket here, they want to win this quarter. Carmichael between the circles. Off the wood side, high left. Petty Cofield spots up the three-point shot. No. Rebound. Taken by Farrell. Ten seconds left. Farrell penetrating, driving, and jamming. 115-106 Rockford leads. It's seven seconds left to play. Three-point shot by Super B. No. Rebound. Brent up and good. One second left to play. Inbound pass. Oh.
Hawks City Thunder were early in the second quarter. And the second quarter's all knocked up. It's Reeves McLean, he's better on the move. This is the jump shot. Ball slapped away. Jones comes out of there with it. Carmichael steals it back. And this is trouble. Well, that's what he's in there for. Brent Carmichael to make things happen. He came away with a steal. Penetrated, dumped it out to Wood. Wood got the easy six-footer. Hunter has two. Uh, we've got that straightened away. We can tell you that the Thunder in blue have a one-point lead. Young working against Mannion. Fade away. That's going to be too hard. Rebound comes down to face Mannion, who was almost knocked out of bounds. And a long baseball pass to Sim. We'll find its mark. Brent Carmichael with the assist. And we've got a timeout on the floor as Dan Panazio doesn't like the way the momentum has shifted as the Quad City Thunder now trail for the first time in this one, 36-35. Thunder, who had not trailed in this ball game until that long half-court pass of Brent Carmichael to Anthony Sim moments ago before the timeout by Coach Sim. His personal and the run will have a chance to continue here for the Rockford Lightning, who have scored four in a row, and they'll try to nail another one down. Seven minutes, ten seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Young leads on Mannion. Mannion trying to find that baseline. Shot clock, two seconds, one second. Carmichael gets it. Well, the Thunder did everything right there. They played their good defense, got it down to one second, but Carmichael came through and hit the key shot. Keith will try. Harry Young has the rebound. Nice bounce pass to Bowie, but there's Carmichael again to knock it away. Anthony Bowie's probably the quickest player on this Thunder team. He does not get guys to come from behind and knock the ball away very often. The two-time Brett Carmichael used that, that extraordinary quickness that he has to, to make a play. And as we have mentioned before during a Rockford Squad City Thunder telecast here on KLJV, Mr. Carmichael and Mr. Bowie, very much either that or Australian rules rugby or football. Oh, look at this. I'll give Bannister the credit there. He went up to the shot block and rammed it right back in his face. But then he had the presence of mind that just tapped the ball down to Carmichael for the easy two. Jones with a silencer in the three. Has to be to the advantage of the Thunder. Played rather sloppy in the last few minutes, but haven't been buried in this game or still find themselves much in it. Only down three points. Green's got to give it up. He does so to Bowie. Bowie was fouled. No call. Blocked back up and in. Hello. And Ooh. it looked like he got fouled, but the official didn't see it that way. 30 seconds to get it in quickly. Jones, and it won't go down. Woo. It came awful close. We've got a tight one here at the Rockford Metro Center. Quad City Thunder leads the season series five games to two. They trail in this one after both teams split quarters. Thunder taking the first quarter. The Lightning in the second is 56 to 54. Home team at the moment. We're coming back with our halftime show right after you see Mr. Blunt. Do what he likes to do. Hi, I'm Brent Carmichael, the local little guy of the Quad City Thunder. In my business, being smaller means a man has to hustle a lot more, a lot like Maple Leaf Lincoln Mercury in Geneseo. Maple Leaf scores points by offering great deals and super service, not a bunch of hype. Isn't saving money and getting great service what you really want? Get the best deal and service from the little guys at Maple Leaf Lincoln Mercury in Geneseo. Looks like us little guys in Geneseo should spot you big guys a few points for your size disadvantage. 